Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Anime Adventure. So as you guys know, there's a brand new update, Karakora Town Event Part 2. And I feel scammed that the Halloween event is still here because like I was rushing my event units on my Noob to Pro account. But it turns out it's still, you know, oh my god, Anime Adventures, you are trolling me, bro. Okay, so in this video, I'll be evolving my Iso Chrysalis to... Iso Fusion, which is the second form of Iso Chrysalis. So right now, this is what he looks like. Look at him. He looks pretty poggers. Hey, he looks so cool. Yeah, it looks so thick. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to the Imperfect Soul Orb. If you have not watched my previous video upon my showcase on this brand new unit, Iso Chrysalis. <laughs> you, I'm butchering the word, but I don't really care at this point. You know, give up. So the only way you can get this. <laughs> This um imperfect soul orb is from the legend stage six and it's pretty easy and I've made a video on it me doing it solo and it's actually pretty easy. I did it for 15 minutes, which you know pretty average time. Alright, now let's go ahead and go to imperfect soul orb. Hey, let's go. Your soul feels an unbearing power. Alright, so I will need to sacrifice another unit of mine. I'm gonna sacrifice Erza. Because, actually, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice Erza. I don't really care, bro. Yep. So you'll be needing to have 62.5% awakening power to fusion Izo. Yeah, alright. Just making sure it is fusion Izo, and I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, now let's go ahead and unequip this bad boy. And have I done, you know, you know, let's do it one more time. So Izo, there she is. There he is. This is what he looks like. Pretty pog. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need to defeat 5,000 opponents so so you can evolve him. See, this is what he looks like. Pretty poggers. All right, now let's go ahead and evolve him. Yay! Let's go evolve. Yes, sir. Are you sure you want to use 62.5% Soul Orb Awakening to evolve Iso Chrysalis? Yes, sir. Look at that. Iso Fusion. Yay! Oh my God. Yo, he looks so rad, bro. He looks so handsome. What the heck? Yo, let's go! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, look at him! Whoa, his design reminds me of um Erza. Yeah, Erza Valkyrie, bro. It reminds me of that. Like, look, like the wings and all, but oh my god. Okay, let's go! Yay! Look at him! He looks so pog, bro. So he is a magic type unit and still a ground unit, okay? And you'll be needing to bring Wenda because Wenda can only buff units that are magic type units and Orwin buff units that are physical types. Alright, now let's go ahead and go to the Phantom Mac to showcase you guys this. Oh my god, I'm like, my mind is going blank, bro. Alright, let's get it. Let's hit it, bro. Hopefully, we'll get like limited like... Oh my god, look at this range, bro. I think it's the same. Or maybe it's not actually because it's a phone type AoE this time. Hopefully, we'll get, like, a cosmetic once a brand new update comes because I would love to have his wings or whatever that is. I don't really watch Bleach, so I'm so sorry. And I don't even know if he is from Bleach, bro. So, I may be just, like, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Also, let me know down in the comments down below what is Kenzen. That Saiyan? Like, what, what does that do? I would love to know what you... What it is? <laughs> I would love to know what it is because I'm so confused. Because, look, guys. Like, nothing happens. Uh, hold on, let me, like, look, nothing happens when we do it. I don't think, at least. Maybe it's like, yo, look at that. Uh, like, look, what happens, bro? Nothing happens. What happens, bro? I don't, I don't, I want to know what happens, though. But yeah, I'm, at the moment, the animation looks pretty cool. I love the animation. I'm loving it. Oh my god. Look at that. Yo, it's so clean, too. Okay, let me just have it full on max. And what is that yellow thing, bro? What is that yellow thing? Okay, pretty cool, pretty pog. Let's go. Oh my god. Also, by the way, if you've not watched my previous video on the showcase of Izo, I did say that he is a meta unit. So I'm assuming the more we evolve him, the more damage he's going to do. So that is actually quite overpower, man. Like, bro, that's so overpower, bro. All right. So his cooldown right now is so, so high. Like, he can barely survive, I guess, in a way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Is he a multi-hit? I'm pretty sure he is a multi-hit. Like, look at that. Oh, no, he's not a multi-hit. Because if he was a multi-hit, that alien general would have died already. But no. I guess he's not a multi-hit unit. It looks it looks like he is. But he's not. Okay. Bro, 
bro. He looks so rad, bro. He looks so good, bro. Look at that. Well, I should. I may stop watching Bleach. Like, oh my god, I may. All right, let's just start with the upgrades now. All right, let me just upgrade these. Okay, so his base stat is 3,119 with the 8 seconds ability cooldown and 21.4 range. When we upgrade him to the next upgrade, his brand new damage is now 5,719 with the 8 seconds ability cooldown and 23.5 range. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, next upgrade. When we get him to upgrade 2, his brand new damage is now 9,358 with the 8 seconds ability cooldown and 24.6 range. When we get him to upgrade 3, he's going to be unlocking a brand new ability called Edge of Reason. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's he's back to circle, AoE circle. Let's go. Oh, yo, that's a brand new thing, bro. That That's not, that's not, you know, old. That's new. That's new animation right there, bro. What the heck? Let's go, anime, anim anime adventures. Yo, that's new animation. Yo, that looks so pog, bro. I'm sure all of the Bleach fans are having the time of their life right now. Because, oh my god, that's actually pretty pog. Alright, now his brand new damage is 12,478 with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 24.6 range. Pretty cool, alright. Come on, kill him, bro. Kill him. Let's go. When we get him to upgrade 4, his brand new damage is now 15,597 with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 25.6 range. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, next upgrade. Upgrade 5. His new damage is now 19,757 with a 7.5 seconds ability cooldown and 25.6 range. Pretty cool. Alright. Defeat this boss, bro. Easy boss. Easy win. Easy dub. Pretty cool. Okay, next upgrade. Upgrade 6. His brand new damage is now 21,837 with a 7 seconds ability cooldown and 26.7 range. Alright, when we get him to upgrade 7, he is going to unlock a brand new ability called Full In... I'm not even gonna try reading that, but in and Yeah, brand new ability, Kuro... You know, you, know you, can, you guys can see, that's a brand new ability. I don't know how to read things, so yeah, alright, let's go. Oh, look at that, it's an even bigger AoE circle. Yo, that's so pog, bro. That's so pog. All right, let's take a look at his brand new damage. All right, his brand new damage is now 34,135 with a 7 seconds ability cooldown and 27.2 range. Pretty cool. All right. He is starting to cost expensive. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it makes sense. He's starting to be expensive to upgrade. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Go. Yes, sir. Look at that. Whoa, it looks so poggers. All right, next upgrade. His brand new damage is now 46,793 with a 7 seconds ability cooldown and 27.8 range. Oh, I need a breather, man. All right, next upgrade. Upgrade 9. His brand new damage is now 62,391 with a 7 seconds ability cooldown and 28.8 range. All right, come on now. Next upgrade. Oh, my God. He's costing quite a... Quite a lot of money to upgrade. Hopefully, the next upgrade is the max. Oh my god, it's not the max? What the heck, bro? Alright, his new damage is now 77,989 with a 6.5 seconds ability cooldown and 29.9 range. Oh my god. Let me tell you guys, this unit started off as a really, really trash unit. Really trash mythic, mythic unit. And now it's like the best meta unit now. Like, what the heck, bro? All right, next upgrade. Come on now, give us the mulas. Give us mulas, bro. Okay, go. Thank you, bro. Okay, now his max upgrade. His new damage is now 93,587 with a 6.5 seconds ability cooldown and 31 range. What the frick, bro? What the heck? Can I just see how much can we spawn? Because, like, surely. They change on how much we can spawn because, you know, his damage is 93,000, but most likely not though. Alright, so I think we can only spawn three. Oh my god, 93,000. Oh my god. Can I quickly calculate what his current damage is right now? So, no, I mean, da damage per second. 150, 9,000, 93,087. Okay, divided by 6.5. It's gonna be... 
Oh my god, his DPS is 14,398. Oh my god, that is actually overpowered. All right, now let's go ahead and sell these and apply the Sakura buff on him. So Iso Fusion, his damage at max upgrade and max level is 93,587. Once we apply Sakura buff, it's gonna be, I assume, 100,000. Yo, 100,000. What the heck? 102,946. Pretty poggers. What does this do? Like, I'm so confused. What does it actually do, bro? I don't even know, man. All right. Now, let's go ahead and apply the buff on him. Okay, let's go do Sokka's buff. That's what I meant. All right. So, as you guys can see, this is my Izo's ability cooldown and ability range. I mean, not ability range. Range. 6.5 seconds ability cooldown and 31 range. And once we apply Kisako's buff, it's going to be... Yo, 5.9 seconds ability cooldown and 37.2 range. All right, now let me calculate this brand new DPS. This brand new damage and all. So, 100,000, 2,946. <laughs> my brain is like fried already. <laughs> all right, we're gonna see. Oh my god, 17,448 damage per second. Oh, oh my... He is becoming stronger and stronger, bro. Like, oh my god, let's go. He, even his designs and visuals, bro. He looks so pog, bro. Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot. He is a magic type unit. So the only magic type unit that works on him, that buffs, is Wenda. Wenda only buffs units that are magic types. And Orwin can only buff units that are physical types. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's go and buff him. So as you guys can see, his damage does not increase, but do not worry. Uh, when you hover the unit, there's a little indication of like a 30% magic power increase, as you guys can see. Hopefully one day they would add an update where it shows like an indication of the stats, you know, changing, but it's okay. So yeah, oh my god, like that is actually quite poggers. Like look at this brand new, brand new unit, bro. Who would have guessed the brand new unit is like the most overpower and meta unit? Like, what the heck, bro? That ain't normal. Oh my god. Actually, it is quite normal for anime adventures to do that. Every new unit, they are the meta. So, are we surprised? Not really. <clears throat> that is all pretty much it for today's anime adventures video. Yeah, I was on this showcase of... Iso Fusion. So this is the second form and the next video I'll be fusing him once again to get him to the last form. So hopefully you guys will stick around and subscribe. Hit the like button. Yeah. And consider yourself becoming a YouTube member of this channel to support me further than ever before. Woo woo woo. And watch my other videos. Yeah. You're pog if you do that. So thank you all so much. And I'll see you later. Goodbye everyone. Bye 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 bye.